So just a little bit about myself. Um, I'm first very excited to be here because of course, I am an alumni of Roosevelt University, but second, I'm excited to be here because for this first setting for me being here, I am here at the Conference for American Dream Reconsidered. And for me, this is really a testament to me and my background. So I am born on the south side of Chicago in the Inglewood community. And if you know anything about Chicago, then you know about Inglewood. And then I am raised on the west side of Chicago, and I live on the west side of Chicago. Now, I tell everyone that I live on the west side of Chicago by choice. I can choose to live anywhere in the city of Chicago as city treasurer, but I live on the west side of Chicago for a reason, and I'll talk about that further. But I was raised by a single mother of three girls. And I was the first in my family to go to college, like many of the students here at Roosevelt University. And I went to college, went to Eastern Illinois University, where I acquired my Bachelor of Science in Finance, went on to spend almost 15 years in the private sector, working for a Fortune 500 company, a minority female, so I'm very excited about that. I always talk about that because I believe that that is a story that needs to be shared with others. And then I have the privilege of also attending Roosevelt University, where I attended the campus in Schaumburg. I worked at Allstate in Hoffman Estates. And after work in the evening, I would go to class at Schaumburg, um, at the campus in Schaumburg, for Roosevelt University, where I acquired my MBA in finance. I always say, of course, my primary responsibility is to protect taxpayers' dollars. Yeah. Of course, Roosevelt University has taught me how to properly invest these funds to make certain that I protect it, to make certain that I get the greatest return on my investment. But when we talk about the social justice aspect that Roosevelt also taught me, is that I have to make certain that I invest taxpayers' dollars with the mindset of taxpayers, that I leverage it. One thing that I have tasked my staff with is I say, shame on us if after our tenure that all we have done is provided a great return on investment, but that money has not been returned to the communities that need it. That would be shame on us. That's the power in the office of the city treasurer that I'm so grateful that I've been tasked with that I can go in there every day and intentionally invest with the mindset of underserved communities. So as a, as a trustee of the pension fund, just today, matter of fact, I went to a pension fund meeting, and this is one of the great days for me. This is why I love coming from the south side and west side of Chicago. I'm sitting in a pension fund, and we have many, many fund managers many fund managers that make up our pension funds, that, invest, that we invest our money in. We're sitting in a room with fund managers, and of course, for me, it's very important that we talk about what's the performance of that fund, that we talk about the rate of return. But in addition to that, because we're talking about taxpayers' dollars, we need to talk about the social responsibility of that fund manager. So now I'm going to ask tough questions in these meetings. I'm going to ask the question of, talk to me about the employee diversity of your firm. Yes. Talk to me about opportunities that you're providing to smaller brokers where they're able to work with your organization and gain the experience needed for them to be a minority firm mm. that can be a larger firm later because of the experience with you. Then I'll ask, Talk to me about your charitable giving. We have some fund managers that are in other municipalities, let's say Boston, New York. But they want to be a fund manager for Chicago's pension funds, which means they're receiving Chicago's taxpayers' dollars. Mm -hmm. So if I say, talk to me about giving back, I want to talk about that. And then they'll say, oh, in Boston, you know, we're doing great things, and in New York, we're doing this, and then I'll say, hmm, but you're meeting with us here in Chicago talking about Chicago's taxpayers' dollars. And if you want to work with Chicago's taxpayers' dollars, I want you to talk to me about how you're giving back in Chicago. Sometimes I'll tell you fund managers are taken back. <laughs> but for me, I feel like it's my fiduciary duty 
to ask the necessary questions because I've been tasked with being the manager for taxpayers. I represent them. And I believe if they were sitting at the table, the taxpayers would be asking those same questions. The future is in your hands. Justin and I, we're just trying to make do right now. <laughs> the Before future, we pass that there baton. you go. The future is in your hands. And I encourage you to be a part of the process. And in order to see a change, you have to be the change. You are our future. So I encourage you to not sit back and allow Justin and I to make all the decisions. Yes, yes. I encourage you to step forward and be a part of the process. I'll tell you, when I was attending Roosevelt University for my MBA, I had absolutely no idea that I would be the city treasurer of Chicago. No idea. I didn't study political science. No idea that I would be in this position that I am today. So another piece of advice I'll tell you is, you know where you've been, but you don't know where you're going. That's right. Prepare yourself. And my mother always taught me to let your name precede you. That means to have a good reputation. You never know where life is going to take you. So some of the things we do, when I look at social media, and sometimes I'm telling you, I got nephews. Oh my gosh, I can pass out when I see some of the words they put on social media. <laughs> so much so I have to respond on their page and I say, now you know you should not be talking like this. And I say that for a reason. Because when you go and look for a job, if you think that that job, although I think that there's a law, maybe they shouldn't, but if you think that that job is not going to look at your social media, look at how you're presenting yourself. You know, if you want to say something to your friends, you don't need to do it on a major platform. <laughs> Call them up, shoot them a text, but just be mindful of what you're doing and understand that all of this is preparing you for the future. So I always say maintain a good reputation. I think that's very important. And I encourage you to be the best that you can be. Enjoy college. Enjoy undergrad, graduate school, PhD, whatever it is, enjoy it. I had a ball when I was an undergrad and I still learned. I had a ball when I was pursuing my MBA, and I still learned. Roosevelt University is going to prepare you for something great, and I encourage you to take advantage and embrace this opportunity. And so I'm just excited when I look around the room and the diversity of the room. Yes. This is how it should be, unity. Mm -hmm. City of Chicago, state of Illinois, the United States of America, the world, unity. I encourage you to not have just misconceptions about people that you may not know. That's right. We can't judge each other. So those are just tidbits that I like to leave with the students. I just think there's so much out there in the world that you can grab onto. And no dream is too small. The title, The American Dream Reconsidered. No dream is too small and no dream is too big. I never thought a girl like me from Inglewood would be managing an $8 billion portfolio. But you never know what your future holds. So dream big and be all that you can be. Thank you very much.